In this video, we're going to look at how to find higher order derivatives of an equation that is in implicit form. So we're going to have to look at higher order derivatives with implicit differentiation. If you would like, this is also known as super fun. You guys are going to like this. All right, so let's look at an example. Let's find d squared y over dx squared of x, y plus y squared equals 1. So in this example, we want to find the derivative, the second derivative of this equation here and it's in implicit form. Okay, so first, rewrite it. xy plus y squared equals 1. So the first thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and find the derivative with respect to x. So let's see, we have a product rule. So in the product rule, we have the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, which is just one. Okay, then we have the derivative of y squared is 2y dy dx, and the derivative of one is zero. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and um, if figure out the equation for the first derivative. Okay, so we end up having x dy dx um, plus 2y dy dx equals a negative y. So then we have um, dy dx times x plus 2y equals a negative y. And up here, let's just go ahead and write dy dx equals a negative y all over x plus 2y. So there is our first derivative. Okay, so um, now we're going to look at <clears throat> getting our second derivative. And when I do the second derivative, um, I like to use prime notation instead of d these dy dx's. Um, we'll put in d squared y over dx squared at the end because that's what the question asks. But I feel that prime notation is a little bit easier, so I'm going to rewrite the, this to be y prime equals a negative y over x plus 2y. Now at this point, we can find the second derivative or start the process of finding the second derivative from one of two equations. We can either use this equation here or we can use this one here. Now for me, well, there's a quotient in there, so um, that would probably draw me away from that one. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one. But if you do try to do it from this one, it should still work out. So I'm going to take this equation and rewrite it down here. So we have x y prime plus y plus 2y y prime equals 0. So notice I took this equation here, rewrote it, but instead of using dy dx's, we use y primes. Okay, so now let's look at taking another derivative with respect to x. So we start off with, and we have um, a product here. So we have the first times the derivative of the second. Well, the derivative of y prime is y double prime plus the second, which is y prime, times the derivative of the first, which is 1. 
Then we have the derivative of y, which is just y prime. Now I'm going to put the 2 out in front. I like to distribute later. And so now we have another product. So the derivative of this product is going to be the first y times the derivative of the second. The derivative of y prime is y double prime plus the second y prime times the derivative of the first, which is y prime. And this all equals 0. Okay, so let's clean this up a little bit. We have x, y double prime. Okay, we have two y primes here, so it's going to be plus 2 y prime. And then I'm going to distribute that too. So we have plus 2y, y double prime, plus 2y prime squared equals 0. Good. All right, the next step is we need to get all of the y double primes on one side and everything else on the other. So we're going to have x, y double prime, plus 2, y, y double prime. So there's our y double primes. And then this is going to equal a negative 2, y prime, minus 2, y prime, squared. Okay. Now we want to factor out that y double prime. So we have y double prime times x plus 2y equals a negative 2y prime minus 2 times y prime squared. We're going to divide each side by this x plus 2y. And so we end up with y double prime is a negative 2y prime minus 2y prime squared all over x plus 2y. All right, so now that we have it so that y double prime equals everything else, um, we're almost done. The only thing we have left is we want the derivative in terms of just x and y. Right now we have the derivative, the second derivative in terms of x and y. Right now we have the second derivative in terms of x, y, and the first derivative of y. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is we go back up here. And now you can kind of see why I decided to go ahead and figure out the derivative, the first derivative, and went through the steps of figuring that out, because we're going to have to put that back in here. So we're going to take our first derivative, which is y prime equals a negative y all over x plus 2y. And we're going to substitute it in to these. And so we end up with y double prime equals a negative 2 times a negative y all over x plus 2y minus 2 times a negative y all over x plus 2y squared. And this is all going to be over x plus 2y. OK. Now at this point, we technically do have the second derivative, although we definitely, I mean, it's a complex fraction, and so we need to clean that up. But the calculus is now done. And so we can see the whole process of figuring out how to get the second derivative of um, a, an equation that's in implicit form. All right, so let's go ahead and start working on cleaning this up. So let's see here. We're going to end up with y double prime equals, well, a negative 2 times a negative y is 2y all over x plus 2y. Okay, so let's think about this. We have a negative y squared is y squared, so we're going to have a minus 2y squared 
all over x plus 2y quantity squared all over x plus 2y. Okay, so let's combine these fractions. And in order to combine fractions, we need a common denominator. And our common denominator is going to be x plus 2y squared. So I'm going to do this over here. So we're going to have 2y times x plus 2y all over x plus 2y squared minus 2y squared over x plus 2y quantity squared. And then this is all going to be over x plus 2y. Okay, so now we have y double prime equals so now we can combine these fractions over here. And so we end up with, um, let me see, I'm gonna do a couple steps here. I'm gonna take this 2y and distribute it. So we have 2xy plus 4y squared minus 2y squared all over x plus 2y squared all over x plus 2y. Okay, now remember this x plus 2y is over uh, you know, 1. And so we're going to get, let's see, so we have 2xy, and then we have 4y squared minus 2y squared is just 2y squared. And then this is all over x plus 2y squared times 1 over x plus 2y. All right, so when we take x plus 2y squared times x plus 2y, it's going to be x plus 2y cubed. And so we get our final second derivative, d squared y over dx squared is going to be 2xy plus 2y squared all over x plus 2y cubed. 2xy plus 2y squared. Okay, so there it is. There's our second derivative. So good. So we had a derivative, an equation in an implicit form. We wanted the second derivative. So you start off by finding the first derivative. You can then go through the process of finding the second derivative. Usually when you do higher order derivatives with implicit differentiation, you're going to end up having to substitute that first derivative into the second derivative and then doing a simplification process.